Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes, and in this video, I'll show you how to input chords in Dorico. When you input a note in Dorico, the carrot advances by the duration of that note. If you move the carrot back and input another note, it overwrites the original one. This is handy, as it means you can fix mistakes easily and also overwrite only parts of existing notes. In order to input chords, you must engage chord mode using this button on the notes toolbox or by pressing the key command Q for hmm, chords. You can tell chord mode is active by the plus symbol at the top of the carrot. Now when you input a note, the carrot does not automatically advance. And when you input a second note, it does not overwrite the original one. It adds to it to make your new chord. When using the computer keyboard, new notes are added above existing ones. Hold Ctrl and Alt while you type a pitch letter to input it below. That's just Ctrl on Mac. And you can add as many notes as you like. When your chord is complete, press space to advance to the next rhythmic position. Remember to disengage chord mode once you've finished inputting chords and return to normal input. You can actually position the carrot wherever you like and input notes with chord mode active in order to quickly achieve examples such as these. You can click with the mouse to input notes at any position as well. Chord mode also works outside of note input, such as when editing notes. If you're inputting using a MIDI keyboard, you're free to play and input chords all at once. You do not need to invoke chord input. And that's inputting chords in Dorico. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.